Hi, this is Scott Kelly aboard the International Space Station. I'm David Curley, ABC News in Houston, and I'm standing in part of the mock-up for the space station. This is where astronauts learn what it's going to be like to be in space. And Scott Kelly has given me quite a bit of fun over the last several years. The first thing was a tour of this mock-up and where he was going to sleep. Pretty small compared to yeah. normal bedroom What standards. is that, three by three by six? Yeah, it's kind of like a big phone booth. <laughs> And a little story of what happened here in Houston. Kelly and I were walking by some of these mock-ups here in Houston, and somebody said, you can't get into the Soyuz. Well, Commander Kelly asked me if I wanted to get in. How do you pass that up? This is like and, a sardine can. Yeah. And sitting in here. Oh my for, gosh. Oh, you really have for, to bend your knees. I mean, this four is. four hours is not uncomfortable. It's incredibly painful. I heard the two of you fought till you were 15 every day. We were still good friends, except we were when we were trying to kill one another. You get the easy part of this. Deal. Ah, the really easy part. And I get the fun part. <laughs> At least for a while. And just a few days before Scott Kelly ended his record 340 days in space, I got a treat, a first for me. I was able to speak to somebody in space. Station, David Curley, ABC News, how do you hear me? I hear you loud and clear, David. You took a lot of pictures, some amazing photographs. What place on Earth have you seen from space that you've not been to, do you want to get to and visit when you come home? I think if I had to choose one place, I would go up in the, in the foothills on the, uh, you know, on the northeastern side of the Himalayas. Scott Kelly, back on Mother Earth. You have rekindled this interest in space we haven't seen in this country for a while. What do you take away from that for yourself, for the program, for the country? I think space is important. I think it's our future. It, it, it helps our economy grow. It improves technology. Um, you know, I think there are things we're going to discover about our experience in space, in the space station, that we, you know, we don't even know now. So the twins are reunited back here on planet Earth, but the science is far from over. It will take a year of pricking and prodding to learn what they can from the two twins. Can a human survive long duration flight? Can a human go to Mars? I'm David Curley, ABC News in Houston.